Hello friends, and welcome to the Architecture Enthusiast. The Taj Mahal, a symphony in marble, stands as one of the most enduring symbols of love and architectural brilliance in the world. Built between 1632 and 1653 under the orders of the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan, it was created in memory of his beloved wife, Mumtaz Mahal. The Taj Mahal is not just a tomb, but an architectural masterpiece that weaves together elements of Persian, Indian, and Islamic design into a cohesive and awe-inspiring whole. As you approach the Taj Mahal, the first experience is through the Grand Gateway, the darwaza e rauza This monumental archway, made of red sandstone and decorated with intricate inlays of white marble, prepares you for the spectacle that lies beyond. The gateway frames the Taj Mahal like a jewel, its domes and minarets perfectly centered, creating an illusion of a suspended, floating monument. The first glimpse of the Taj Mahal through this portal is often described as a vision in white, shimmering in the soft morning light, evoking emotions that are as timeless as the structure itself. Walking through the gateway, you enter the vast, symmetrical garden known as the Charbagh, a Persian-style quadrilateral garden divided by walkways and water channels. This garden is not just a beautiful landscape, but also a symbolic representation of paradise, with the central watercourse reflecting the image of the Taj Mahal, doubling its beauty in the stillness of the early morning. The garden is meticulously laid out with rows of cypress trees leading your eyes to the marble edifice at the center. The interplay of nature and architecture here is deliberate, meant to evoke a sense of peace and divinity. As you draw closer to the Taj Mahal, the sheer scale of the monument begins to dawn on you. The mausoleum itself is a colossal structure, but its perfect proportions and the delicate balance of its components make it appear lighter than air. Built entirely of white marble sourced from Makrana in Rajasthan, the Taj Mahal changes color depending on the time of day and the quality of light. In the early morning, it glows with a soft pink hue. As the sun rises higher, it turns dazzling white, and by the time the sun sets, it takes on a golden glow, as if reflecting the warmth of the day. The central dome, rising to a height of 73 meters, is the most iconic feature of the Taj Mahal. This bulbous dome, inspired by Persian architectural traditions, is crowned by a lotus design, which further emphasizes its symmetry and elegance. Surrounding the dome are four smaller domes, creating a harmonious arrangement that directs your gaze upward toward the heavens. The Taj Mahal's minarets, which stand at the four corners of the platform, are slightly tilted outward. This intentional design feature was incorporated to protect the main tomb from potential damage if the minarets were ever to collapse during an earthquake, a testament to the foresight and engineering prowess of its architects. The exterior of the Taj Mahal is adorned with intricate carvings and inlaid with precious and semi-precious stones, a technique known as pietra dura. The detailed floral patterns, geometric designs, and calligraphy of Quranic verses are so finely executed that they appear almost woven into the marble. The central arch of the mausoleum bears an inscription that reads, O soul, thou art at rest. Return to the Lord at peace with him, and he at peace with you. This quote encapsulates the spiritual essence of the Taj Mahal, reminding visitors of the eternal peace that Shah Jahan sought to create for Mumtaz Mahal. Entering the mausoleum, you are enveloped in a cool, serene atmosphere. The interior space is dimly lit, with light filtering through finely carved marble screens, casting intricate shadows on the floor. The cenotaphs of Mumtaz Mahal and Shah Jahan lie at the center of this chamber, surrounded by an octagonal marble screen, exquisitely carved and inlaid with more precious stones. However, the true graves of the emperor and his queen are located in a crypt directly beneath the main chamber, following Islamic tradition. The acoustics inside the mausoleum are such that even the faintest sound echoes, adding to the sense of sacredness and reverence. The narrative of the Taj Mahal does not end with its architectural grandeur. The story of its construction is as compelling as the monument itself. 
It is said that Shah Jahan employed more than 20,000 artisans, including craftsmen from Persia, the Ottoman Empire, and Europe, to bring his vision to life. The chief architect, Ustad Ahmad Lahauri, was a master of his craft, and under his guidance, the Taj Mahal became a symbol of both Mughal architectural innovation and the emperor's deep love for his wife. Shah Jahan's own words, as recorded by court historians, express his vision. Should guilty seek asylum here like one pardon, he becomes free from sin. Should a sinner make his way to this mansion, all his past sins are to be washed away. The sight of this mansion creates sorrowing sighs, and the sun and the moon shed tears from their eyes. The construction of the Taj Mahal was a labor of love that took 22 years to complete. The cost was enormous, nearly bankrupting the Mughal treasury, but Shah Jahan was resolute in creating a monument that would stand for eternity. His dream was realized, but at great personal cost. After the completion of the Taj Mahal, Shah Jahan was overthrown by his son, Aurangzeb, and spent the remaining years of his life imprisoned in the Agra fort, gazing longingly at the Taj Mahal from a distance. Visiting the Taj Mahal today is an immersive experience, a journey through time and emotion. As you stand in its shadow, the magnitude of Shah Jahan's devotion becomes palpable. The Taj Mahal is not merely a building. It is a narrative carved in stone, a testament to the enduring power of love and loss. The delicate interplay of light and shadow, the harmonious blending of architectural elements, and the spiritual ambiance of the mausoleum combine to create an experience that transcends time. In the words of the English poet Sir Edwin Arnold, not a piece of architecture, as other buildings are, but the proud passions of an emperor's love wrought in living stones. This quote perfectly encapsulates the essence of the Taj Mahal, a monument that is as much a work of art as it is a profound expression of human emotion. As you leave the grounds of the Taj Mahal, its image lingers in your mind, a reminder of the enduring beauty and the eternal love that inspired its creation.